It's time for this week's edition of Shorts and Shells with senior editor Eric Edholm. And Eric, we're going to talk about two coordinators that are under some fire, especially after the way their teams played in Week 7. Let's start in Carolina, where the Panthers only mustered 14 points against the Dallas Cowboys in a loss. Rob Chudzinski, everyone thought a full offseason, that offense would be so explosive after what we saw last season, but they're really struggling. You know, Cam Newton's taken a lot of heat, and I think in some cases, rightfully so, for the way he's played, not uh, taking a step forward in, in his second season in the NFL. But I think a lot of it comes down to power football and that the fact that the, the Carolina Panthers seem to refuse to want to play it. They have the pieces to do that. Chudzinski oftentimes gets too cute with his run game, a lot of toss sweeps, some option stuff, and I know you want to take advantage of some of those unique skills that Newton offers, but when you've got the backfield loaded with Tolbert, Williams, Stewart, you've got to be able to use those skills, and they aren't going with straight ahead football, which I think in some cases is the best option. Right now, they're calling a poor game, I think, from upstairs, and, and it comes down on Rob's head. And this is a guy who was outstanding last season, melded the skills of, of Newton from college to the pros, dealt with a lockout, and, and did a terrific job, I thought, last season. Earned some head coaching attention. This year, different story. I don't like the way he's using his personnel. And you look at that running backs, you talked about how they're being used. There's also a lot of money invested yeah. in Jonathan Stewart and D'Angelo Williams, so another thing to consider. Going to the defensive side of the ball, let's head to Buffalo. With the Buffalo Bills, everyone thought Mario Williams, Mark Anderson, Dave Wan said the defense is going to make the big step this year, and they've been absolutely terrible all season. They lose 35 to 34 to the Tennessee Titans. Made Chris Johnson look like the Chris Johnson from a couple years ago. Yeah. Uh, but you don't think that a lot of people maybe inside NFL circles are completely surprised by the fact that Wansett hasn't turned the Bills' defense around. Yeah, I mean, I think they've taken that big step. It's been backwards. And it's hard to believe that when you add Mario Williams and Mark Anderson and uh, supposedly get better in the secondary stuff on Gilmore and stuff like that, that you're not going to be a better defensive football team. Now, part of it has to do with the offense. They do tend to go up and down the field a little bit. Uh, and, if, you know, if they turn the ball over, that's not on them. But the Bills' defense right now is horrible. And Dave Wanstead has never been, uh, at least not since his Dallas Cowboys day, known as a great defensive coordinator. He struck out twice in NFL head coach, so game planning hasn't always been his strongest suit, at least since those old days. So right now, I think Dave Wanstead is, is under fire in a tremendous way. I mean, if Juan Castillo can get fired in Philadelphia, Who's to say that Dave wants that can't? I'm not calling for his head. I'm just saying it's a possibility you have to raise considering the Bills' record. They drop back again now in the, in the AFC East. And time may be slipping away despite they are only one game back. Yeah, the Bills' run defense coming into this game was worse in the league and they didn't play well at all against Tennessee. Not filling their gaps. Chris Johnson gained out for huge gainers. Safety's not making the plays either. And all, they're heading to the bye week. Chengay, they said no one's going to get fired, but they're right. certainly going to look at some things there. So tough going for a Bills team that they thought this was going to be here to finally make that step and enter the playoffs. To see the rest of Eric's analysis from Week 7, be sure to check out his Shorts and Shells column at our website, profootballweekly.com.